Back in this thing again, again, again. Because you missed all last night. It was oh yeah, dope, dude. We were laughing hard, bro. Yeah. Oh, did y'all do an episode? Yeah. yeah. We're nice. gonna do a bonus episode. Surprise! It'll be out next week. Yeah. We don't know what nice. day though. Probably Wednesday. Who knows? Surprise, motherfuckers! Her thighs, motherfucker. <laughs> all rise, motherfuckers! <laughs> Some fries, motherfucker. <laughs> I love that shit. <laughs> Me too, man. Ooh. <laughs> That was me just warming up, you know what I'm saying? Just oh, gotta nice. get in the zone, bro. Hell yeah. I thought you were just uh, foreplaying or jizzing. doing the... Yeah, jizzing from one... STS, oh, my bad. Trash. I had it low, my bad. STS 420. There we go. Now I'm in the zone. Now I'm feeling Auto zone. It. Hell yeah. But I even though I prefer O'Reilly. O'Reilly. Oh, oh, episode 229, boy. 229. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell Jewish, yeah. We're about to be in 300s. No. 220 229 it's like 70 of oh, 71 no, yeah, episodes away <laughs> I thought you said another 2 year. 9 292 2 yeah and you even hear dyslexic <laughs> <laughs> it's all good for <laughs> 292 <laughs> close enough I remember we did loud mouse how many episodes or what episode is this episode 10 mm. last week was episode 2 so no <laughs> just off by a little bit you were close though <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> it's three quarters away. God damn. Episode 229. It's your boy Zeke, aka Big D. Oh, yeah, I didn't even say. I said, Welcome to Shoot the Shit. Nope. Welcome no. to Shoot the Shit with Zeke. on the farm, Ryan. It's your boy Zeke, aka Big D. Getting from Cincinnati, aka Ruthless Dootless. It's Israel, aka The Quiet Right, aka The Rag, aka Ten High. It's Brian, aka. Bodies on top of bodies. And you know what else? You want you, 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 you mm. to see a dead body? Damn right. you damn right. So easy. You died on this last night. What happened, son? Fell asleep. Bro, yeah, dude, I was just so goddamn tired. My back was hurting. So I'm waiting because Zeke was like, oh, we're, you know, he's doing something over at his mom's or whatever. So I was like, all right, well, my back's killing me. So I'm going to just lay down, lay down on the bed for a little bit, just try to relax, you know, till it's time to go. Then I fucking wake up and it's like three in the fucking morning. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I'm like, my bad. <laughs> you, just like, you, you should have texted me like, how about now? <laughs> it will now work. <laughs> it would have been funnier if he was like, y'all ready? <laughs> yeah. Where, where the fuck y'all at? I'm at the studio. <laughs> Send a you, picture of you, like him at the door. He's like, you slacking ass bitches. <laughs> Didn't tell you to start at three in the morning anyway. <laughs> where y'all at? Let's get back to that old school shit. <laughs> oh, shit. You lying. Now, Brian did some old folks shit. He was like, let me just sit down for a second. Read the read the paper. Just <laughs> <laughs> like in cocktail. Died been, the world. I've been there, though. That, that was me Sunday, for real, because I didn't have a ride anyway, so I was like. Fuck it. I'm tired. I was so tired, dude. I think Saturday night I went to sleep at like four in the morning. Ooh, damn. I had to wake up at 6.30. So I was like, oh, yeah, Sunday's gone. I'm, I'm going to be dragging ass. Sure enough, I was dragging ass. Then we had like a 12-hour day, and I was like, cool. Damn. Fuck my life. I just want to die right now. Do it. Old, Fuck pe- it. old people shit. As soon as I got home, I showered and I was like, what do I want to... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't finish your sentence. Hell no. I was like, Fuck it. I'm just, I'm just going to die right here in this bed. Have you, been, have you ever been so tired that you wanted like to eat something, but you just like, Fuck it. I, I'm going oh, to yeah, bed. I'll, I'll eat sleep for dinner sometimes. Well, I was so fucking tired Sunday. Oh, I, I didn't eat dinner yesterday. Oh, damn. Yeah. I just took a fucking shower. Yep. And I just fucking... Conked out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been... I, dude, I've been so tired... That I like, I legit, like, you know, you kind of like start seeing like the double vision thing, whatever, you know, like, yeah. like you start, oh, yeah. yeah, like Brian's here and then all of a sudden he's there, like, yeah, what do they call it, like tracers or whatever? I've been that tired where Ooh, I was like, damn. like, I start seeing shit and I'm like, and then everything, whenever everything is funny to me, that's when I know I've been up way too long. Like, like when everything is funny to me, like dumb shit, like you stubbing your toe, I just can't stop laughing. I'm like, what the fuck? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something's you know what wrong I'm saying? with you. Yeah, yeah, you're like, dude, it's time. It's time to go to sleep. Usually, you're pretty reasonable. Yeah, but like when dumb shit like that happens, and I'm laughing, I'm like, yeah, just know your boy's not there mentally. Like, I'm out of there. So you're giddy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. Navar's seen that shit. Oh, really? Brian probably has too. Okay. I don't know. 
I don't think I've ever seen that. Probably, no. No. You've seen me exhausted. Yeah. What well, usually come that usually comes after that exhaustion stage. Hmm. That's whenever I'm like, <laughs> I've been awake for like 38 hours. <laughs> let's fucking go. Let's fucking do let's do some blow. Oh shit. Do some blow and jack a school bus or some shit. Let's drink. Hell yeah. <laughs> that'll keep me that'll keep me awake. <laughs> oh shit. Nope. Oh, you feeling better though? Yeah. Yeah, the knot's gone, so. Yeah, dude, you gotta get it. You gotta do the massage therapy thing. I was just telling my mom about that. She was like, "Yeah, I want to go get a uh, go to a chiropractor." I was like that should always be your last resort. They will fold you the fucking half, mm. snap your shit like like you're a twig, and then be like, "Oh yeah, you're gonna be in pain for the next eight months." Oh, but then you'll feel better. You're like, no, no, I think, no. I, I think I'm gonna pass on that shit. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, I'd rather not need to see another doctor after this shit. <laughs> shit, you dumb bitch. Wait, do you wear a back brace or no? No. You should. Yeah, they you they should. do help. It does help. A lot. Yeah, I wear one. I'd have to go get a good one. No, not not really. There, mm-hmm. even the shitty one works. All all it does is keep your lower back from uh from uh uh compression. Mm. Anyone like I, the one I got is like nine dollars. Yeah, from Walmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I think it's a Mueller. And it's like a really light material. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, dude, I have the same one. Yeah, yeah. They, they work just fine. You don't need one of those. They do make fancy ones where you can put like a. It's got like a little pack in there. You can make it hot or cold. Doesn't doesn't those don't really do anything. Like maybe if you're going to sleep or some shit, but yeah, yeah but I, lifting and all that, yeah, yeah it should nah. be fine. I, I mean, of course. I mean, I haven't quit my job yet, so Facts. it's working. And I'm lifting 86 inch TVs all day. So, well, when we go to A and M, but yeah, they definitely work. What I usually do is put a shirt on, like an undershirt, and then that, so that way that shit doesn't rub your back raw. Because mm. it will happen. It happened I, I usually put it over my shirt. I didn't know you're supposed to put it like no, no, no. You under do whatever you want, but that's, oh, okay. I do it so the way uh, it's not visible because because ah. it, it can get snagged on shit. Because all the, the crawling around and shit that I'm doing, right. it can get snagged. It was like that whenever I was driving the truck too. Like I would go to grab a box and like put it down, and it would like fucking take me with it because it would grab onto the thing. Okay, so that's why I usually I, I, that's whenever I, I was like, you know, I should probably put it in. Yeah, inside. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Or like I would wear like a muscle shirt and then a thing over it and then a t shirt over it. So that way I was wearing it, but it wasn't. I feel like you would see like a little bit of it. Oh, I don't care if people see it. I just don't want to get hung up. Mm. I don't care if people think it's a waist trainer and I'm working on my girlish figure. <laughs> I, just want, I just want to be in pain all fucking day. I want day. to have that B figure. Hell yeah. <laughs> trying to keep my Coke bottle shaved. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get my hourglass. You Hell know what yeah. I'm saying? That's all I need. Mm-hmm. Get my get my hips all right. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Bro, speaking of getting hips right, did y'all see that weird ass NFT Madonna's working on? No. What the Bro, fuck? Uh, it's easily the weirdest shit I've ever seen. It's like her, like a you know, digital version of her. She's like laying down, and then like a tree starts growing out of her choach. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then like there's like multiple versions of it. Yeah. And then like there's one where she like spreads her legs and like butterflies come out of it. So it's all about her choach. I guess. I, I guess that's what she's doing. I'm like, isn't she's like in her 60s, bro? Like, let it go. Yeah. You, you're, you're done. Like, your, your choach been fucking dead and gone for a minute now. Goddamn. Like I'm surprised she has feeling down there. Well, well, I don't know. I don't know what her. I don't know what her uh, sex life was. Didn't she date Michael Jackson? Yeah. Well, she dated a I lot it of was people. Dennis Rodman. Oh yeah, it's definitely did. That tall ass bastard. There's no way his dick ain't fucking nine inches on soft. Mm-hmm. Well, either a, way, she's dated like a lot of dudes. Like, yeah. I mean, a lot. I don't know. Lot. Shout, shout out to her church. If it's growing plants, that'd be dope. <laughs> What'd you do if you go try to go down on your girl and butterflies start coming out that bitch? I don't Are those know. butterflies or moths? <laughs> right. We need to establish what's going on. Here. How long have you not have sex? <laughs> yeah. My, yeah. What are those things called? The dust bunnies and shit? Right. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of fly, though. If my girl's, if my girl's church could grow a tree, a whole ass tree. Shit, getting, might getting, as well make a garden. Make, fuck that, I'm making an OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> shit, what kind of fruits can we grow out this bitch this week? Oh, shit. You ain't lying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Get a banana tree, an orange Ooh. tree. Or what if, what if instead of a tree, it just shot out random fruits? Hmm. Still free fruit <laughs> or candy? Nah, I'll take the fruits. Make smoothies. There you go. Yeah, Joe smoothies. Ugh. <laughs> call them Don't chew- buy them. Call them choo cheese. <laughs> choo cheese. <laughs> choo cheese. <laughs> Hell yeah! That'd it's be a dope. pussy. Uh, pussy. Uh, pussy juice. Ugh. It's not water in there. 
No, no preservatives or additives added. Ugh. Straight up choach juice. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Would you drink some? Would you drink some? <laughs> no. <laughs> would you? Don't, 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 don't throw the idea out there. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who, who's implying. No, no, no. I said uh, Madonna had a choach that grew trees. <laughs> yeah, but you're the one who's saying you're putting, you're putting, you're gonna put the fruit in the smoothies. Hell yeah, choochies, choochies. I think it's a good idea. Kind of sounds like chichis, chichis. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> No, I guess <laughs> no, let's call it, let's make a uh, instead of chuchi, let's call it uh, naga juice. Naga juice. Naga. You know what a naga is, right? No, it's ass. Ass. That's what yeah. I thought. Yeah. Hey, fuck it. Ass juice is just good. Fucking <laughs> 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 ass juice. No, no, it's not. <laughs> hey, look at <laughs> <laughs> you know, a little bit of you don't want some of that swast. His <laughs> 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 I rather have pussy juice than ass juice. You guys, you guys are sounding real judgmental right about now. I'm not feeling that shit. I don't think I could look at you the same way anymore. That's cool. I do. I do the same thing every day when I wake up in the <laughs> and look at the mirror. All right, we got to talk about this because this is funny to me. What is it, bro? What's up? Be easy. What's up with your people? What's going on with your boy Ezra Miller? <laughs> oh, shit, dude. <laughs> He's been botting up these bitches, dog. What did he say? He got like, what did he say? He said he makes an NFT out of being harassed or some shit like that while he was getting arrested. Yeah. I have no fucking idea. I think the dude is clearly mental. Yeah. Like, Just I don't even know in the head. how he has a fan base still. I don't know, but I know if he's in the next movie, I'm throwing a fucking fit. For real. Like, this is some bullshit. I mean, yeah, is, facts. Like he he's got to be on either some hardcore drugs or he's boozing like a motherfucker to just be smacking bitches in public like that. <laughs> oh, he's definitely boozing. Yeah, he's clearly doing something. He's got to be on some. I saw that picture God of Sarah damn. where he was smiling when he was getting arrested. She's like, "Oh my god, he looks kind of crazy." I was like, "Yeah, he looks insane." Yeah, Brian, like you're wearing a straight up robe. You good? For, for real? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you need just, one of those onesies, the fucking the snuggies, whatever snuggies, they call. Yeah. You need a snuggie, bro? You want to cuddle? <laughs> you want to cuddle? <laughs> we can make it happen. <laughs> I can't guarantee y'all provide any heat at all, but... I might. Yeah, too much heat. You're all hairy and shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I don't know what the fuck's up with that dude. He's just... Yeah. Because I think it's weird that he's just, like, bonding up these women, and then everyone's all like, Okay. <laughs> Let's, but, not, let's not like, like talk about it. I'm gay, so it's like, oh, okay. Well, maybe he's just getting it out because he was repressed for so long, <laughs> right? He'll come up with some type of excuse. Like, what the fuck? If I were to do it, then I'd be like, no, that's bad. You're a man. You're straight. It's like, what the fuck? I wonder. What, now would be the time where I'd want to check Twitter to see how they react to this type of shit. You know what I mean? Just to see how they're like, like, because that's where all the fucking alphabet people are. Facts. All yeah. on Twitter and shit. I want. I wonder how they're. Reacting to this, they're probably not talking about They're probably it not even claiming him because, like, like oh, a lot of people don't. I don't, I haven't really heard anybody talk about him in their side, like the alphabet people's side or the left, basically. But all the other people on the other side, they're all like, Yeah, man, it's fucked up what he's doing, or they're making or, fun of it. Not even on the other side, just normal people, yeah. <laughs> normal yeah. people are like, Hey, what's going on with this dickhead? I don't like, know. Anybody gonna talk about it or no? You want to talk about this fucking psycho piecing bitches up in bars and in public on camera <laughs> in and Hawaii just away, and just walking away to just, indigenous people in Hawaii? What the fuck? <laughs> God, yeah. The disrespect is real. For real. He's just like, da, 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 Hallelujah, bitch. And give us some fried pineapple. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, they you look like a swollen Mexican. Da, 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 da. Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> like a red beaner. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know, man. Something's wrong with that kid. How old is he? He's got to be close to 30, if not in his 30s. I want to say he's like late 20s, early 30s, maybe? That's what I'm saying. Probably late 20s. Yeah, let me look it up. Yeah, because there's no way he should be acting like that as a grown-ass man. Yeah. Smacking bitches up left and right. <laughs> it says the guy who fucking gave that toilet paper to the other dude. Yep. <laughs> You missed it, Brian. You, you got to hear the episode and understand what happened yesterday. It wasn't on the episode. That was off mic. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, damn. I thought we actually talked about it. Well, that was a personal moment between us. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll stay personal. It'll be easy. I'll tell you off mic. 
And him, you good? Yeah. Why? <laughs> he's, he's looking at someone's age? Yeah. It's uh, 29. Oh, yeah. He's too old to be doing that shit. Yeah. He's too, way too fucking old. What the hell? What? That makes me mad. Why? Because if he was like 22, I'd be like, all right, he's got a fucking alcohol problem. He's a young kid doing dumb shit. But he's 29. Yeah. No, he's 29. Yeah. What the hell? Someone needs, someone needs to smack that ass. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want like a celebrity to get a hold of him and beat, beat the shit out of him. Who, who do you think would do it? Chappelle's fucking on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what? Uh, Jamie Foxx? Jamie Foxx, Buster Rhymes. <laughs> fucking Jamie Foxx, that guy. Somebody, somebody need to whoop his ass. For Crazy real. Ass <laughs> Stomp his ass. Da, 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 yeah, da. for real. Be easy. Fill, fill me, you know, what are the fucking CBs? Are CBs. They, CBs. In the Navy. They're just, they're just like they, engineers. They're construction. So like, like why so, do they call them CBs? Because they're, 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 they like whoop your ass, but they're like on the sea. I don't know. You know, bees, because they build their hives. Yeah. You know, so. But they're in the Navy. They're oh. in the Navy. CBs, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, they're pretty much construction. Uh, they, I've never really had really any interaction with them. So I'm not too, too sure, but I think they usually do like the, uh, like whenever they first get into a place, mm -hmm. you know, they'll like go in, you know, and start setting up, you know, tents and stuff like that. Mm. Did, did, did you happen to watch that clip that Navarre sent us? Did you? No. Mm -mm. The the one about the CBs? No, I don't think I did. Or so, I wasn't paying attention. Like, back in the day, I, can't, I think it was like whatever war it was. I don't know. Let's just say World War II, whatever. <laughs> well, the the Nazis had like control of some land. And they were like, huh, well, we could send the CBs in. Because if they're good at building shit, they prob they're probably good at unbuilding shit. Well, they needed to steal like a train or something like that, or they need to get something off a train. But they're like, "Fuck it, let's take the whole train." And apparently, all CVs are like alcoholic assholes, <laughs> like they're drunk fucks. Yeah, especially back in the day. So, <laughs> so they uh, they're like, "Hey, we need some parts of this train." They're like, uh, "Let's just steal the train." Like what? They're like, "Yeah, well, they disabled the engine, but we can fix it because we're engineers." Okay, so they like fix the train, and like, mind you, they're alcoholics. So while the train is like moving and shit and they're just, you know, they just figured out how to rebuild the train and like, what's it called? Conducted or whatever. There, there's like a bunch of booze on the train. So they just start getting trashed <laughs> while they're still in a fucking train. <laughs> and then like the Nazis are like, oh my God, uh, who could have, you know, like, how, how do they even do that? Like it was on this track with no end. So they completely rebuilt a train overnight and put it on this track to steal it. Oh, what the They're fuck? Like, how the fuck could they even do that? <laughs> They're like, plus, like, they took all of our alcohol. <laughs> so, <laughs> the fucking bastards. Like, yeah. So as the fucking train is rolling in, like, uh, like some of the army guys are like, uh, oh, oh, shit, looks like the Marines are on their way. And, and they look through the binoculars, are like, oh, no. It's goddamn CBs again. <laughs> like, and so they, they're like, because, uh, you know, they didn't drink all the booze. Yeah. But, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, we can't touch this booze. Like, the people, whenever they finally, the train finally arrived, they're like, there's probably a bunch of poison on there. And they're like, clearly there wasn't because they drank three quarters of the alcohol from where it, wherever it was they were going yeah. to wherever it was they they stopped. So they just drank all this booze. But mind you, they, they rebuilt a fucking train while they were shit-faced. <laughs> Damn, they're fucking smart. Yeah, I wish I could find like, could find the whole video so I could like, I'll probably insert it. So how long ago did he send this? Uh, like, earlier this week, mm -hmm. Sunday, Monday, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's hilarious. So, yeah, <laughs> tell him to resend it. He was like, he was like those damn CBs. <laughs> That's fucking it. wild, dude. Yeah, so like basically it was like the ultimate beer run. The facts. Let's see if I can find this shit. Do y'all think when y'all were alcoholics, y'all? <laughs> Uh, did anything like that? Uh, stole beer? No, not stole beer, but like did something interesting while you're trying to steal beer. Oh, uh, no. Just dumb shit. Completely dumb. I never rebuilt a train. <laughs> I can tell you that much. I maybe, I maybe took a shit on a train. <laughs> Goddamn. But I never, I ain't never built no train. You took a shit on a train? Oh, yeah. Right over there by that, uh, by where Jaja used to live. Oh, okay. uh, the train tracks. 
it was stopped and me and Tuck were like, I was like, I got a shit. I was like, it's either going down now, right here on this road or on my pants. And he was like, fuck it, where, whatever, I'm down. I was like, I'll carry you home. And I was so drunk. I was like, I'm going to take a shit on this train. And I jumped on the back of the because it was stopped. You know, like, you know how they do, like, they're like, okay, move one train, one cart up ahead. Yeah. And it's in a stand still for like 40 minutes. And they're like, all right, another one. So it was one of those. Hmm. And we just crawled through and I was like, I'm shitting right here. So yeah, I want to, <laughs> I want to play this clip so you can hear it. <laughs> Today we're talking about the great CB train robbery. And when I say they robbed a train, I don't mean they boarded it like Jesse James and stole everybody's valuables. I mean they straight up deboed a train, like the whole thing. And if you don't know the CBs, I already did a whole video on them, but basically it's the Navy's construction battalion. You can think of them as construction workers with machine guns. They're pretty world renowned for their ability to build, fight, drink a lot, and overall just not give a duck. Ugh, I can't swear for the first 30 seconds or I'll get in trouble. Ugh. So once upon a time in Korea, September 15th, 1950, the United States Marine Corps, accompanied by the 1st Amphibious CB Battalion, would make an amphibious landing in Incheon. And they would immediately begin advancing eastward towards their objective, Seoul. Nine days into this advance, an aerial reconnaissance mission would report back that there were eight abandoned train locomotives inside of a depot outside of a small town known as Yongdong Po, in between Incheon and Seoul. Needless to say, Uncle Sam wanted these trains because, as I'm sure you can imagine, if you're trying to move an entire army from an amphibious landing site further inland, a train would be pretty fucking handy. But Uncle Sam had no idea how to actually acquire them. So Uncle Sam would make an appointment with the Seabees. Because everybody knows the Seabees only perform miracles by appointment. If you don't know, the Seabees build stuff for a living. And if you're good at building stuff, you're good at unbuilding stuff. It's just science. It's because of those talents, they are world-renowned for their ability to steal shit. I mean, strategically relocate equipment to alternate locations. So nine Seabees volunteer to go yoink these trains. They take off behind enemy lines and make it all the way to the depot completely unnoticed. Sneaky Seabees. Shortly after arriving at the depot, they realize that the depot is neighboring a very large brewing facility. Yeah, shit's about to get out of hand. So in a display of flawless military bearing, half the CBs began prepping the locomotives to move, and the other half began tactically acquiring crate upon crate of beer. Fucking teamwork makes the dream work. And by dream, I mean we're gonna get fucking hammered and steal a train. Fucking America. So they finish loading up on beer and take off in the trains undetected. Alright, full stop. I cannot imagine being a bad guy on the same battlefield as the Marine Corps and the CBs at the same time. Like, if something goes bump in the night, it cannot be good. It's either the Marine Corps and they're about to start yeeting the spicy footballs at you, or it's the CBs and they're actively stealing your shit. I mean, how's that old Bible verse go? The Marine Corps yeeteth, and the CBs yoinketh away? At least I think that's how that went. Anyway, so the CBs are making their way back with these trains and it's going great. And they come up on a section of track that's been sabotaged, like they've just been cut in half. Now, it's at this point that any rational person is going to ditch the train, grab the beer, and take off on foot. But these aren't rational people, they're CBs, they're fucking nuts. So they straight up just stop the trains in the middle of enemy territory, get out and repair the train tracks before taking off again. Like, do you understand how psychologically damaging that has to be for the enemy? The CBs came into your territory, repaired your bad guy infrastructure just so they could steal your shit. That would be like the fire department showing up because your house was on fire, putting the fire out, and then stealing all your shit. Like, you're getting outclassed on a level that's just not even comprehensible. Uh, sir, the CBs stole our train and all of our booze. I thought I told you to sabotage the tracks so they couldn't do that. Oh, uh, we did, sir. They repaired them and then stole it anyways. <sighs> shit. So shortly after they get the trains moving again, they get ambushed by the North Koreans. Which basically turns into a giant game of rock, paper, ambush, I have a fucking train, move. The CBs just straight up drive right through it. So they continue to make their way back to the front line, and there was apparently a miscommunication because nobody told the Marine Corps that the CBs would be coming through with locomotives. So naturally, the Marine Corps assumes that the North Koreans are using the trains to launch an attack. So they also begin firing on the CBs. And luckily, the Marines have attention to detail because right as they were about to whip out the bazooka and start blowing up the locomotives, some of the Marines noticed that they were actually CBs on board and not North Koreans and called for a ceasefire. And at that point, a famous interaction happened where a lower enlisted Marine turned to his commanding officer and said, imagine that, sir, there was doggies beyond the front line. Doggies referring to Marines because they're devil dogs. To which the commanding officer replied, those aren't Marines, it's the damn CBs again. Now, according to the official documents, all the booze was thrown out because they were scared that it may be poisoned. However, according to the CBs, it absolutely was not poisoned because they were drinking it the whole time. So in conclusion, <laughs> the CBs are world-renowned for their ability to build fight, and given the opportunity, they will absolutely steal your shit at night. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Best way to support the Shout out to the CVs. <laughs> yeah. My fucking my fucking drill instructor, he was a fucking CB. He was a crazy motherfucker. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, because so I, I started looking into him a little more, and like like during NAM, mm -hmm. one of the craziest wars, they'd be like, hey, uh, you know, we need some shit. We need some, like, uh, shelter 
for our guys to get in close. And these crazy motherfuckers would get liquored up and be like, say less. We'll go build you a fucking two-story shed that way our guys can hide and shit. And they would just do it in like broad daylight while getting shot at. Oh, like shit. building shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah, fuck. like they're fucking nuts. <laughs> Oh fuck, Brian! I think you went into the wrong thing, dog. I think it sounds like he went into this. He made the wise decision of not doing that crazy shit. <laughs> I guess. We well, what's crazy is like I looked it up. I was like, how many uh, C, uh, CBs have died in you know war? And it was like twenty one. Holy fuck! Yeah, like it's it's very little. Like that's how good they are. God damn! Like they're fast. Huh. Like they're like apparently there's like a course they take. Where it's it's called low life uh low life architecture yeah so basically you know like uh like that room that you were in whenever they threw the mustard gas in there it was basically just a boxed off room they can build something like that which would probably take us I don't know eight to ten hours depending on if we knew what we were doing they can build that in like an hour oh shit like a whole fucking room they that's that's their thing yeah it doesn't Whoa. have to last long it just has to serve a very sh- short purpose mm. so it's like low life architecture like yeah just throw this up. And we got shelter, and they won't go in there. And that's the type of shit they were doing in Vietnam. Holy fuck! Like two flo- two stories. Like they were all over the place. Like there were so many of them that uh, people like started squatting in them after the war as as homes. They were like, "Well, f- fuck, there's no-, no, there's nobody in here. We'll just start jumping in these hoes." And that hence that's why there's so many villages of- in fucking Vietnam. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking interesting. Crazy, they made a right? fucking laugh. Yeah, they made a fucking uh, village out of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is crazy. I wonder if they're construction workers now. I mean, I, I, after living that type of lifestyle, I doubt it. Hmm. But I don't know. I don't know, because, I mean, you're building, or I mean, at least you're coming with ideas, right? And To building something? Are you just making shit fast? I don't know. If, I mean, at least at least those guys in that Nam story I read, hmm. and they were fucked up the whole time. <laughs> Dude, you should get a uh, CB on here. Like, oh, go on Reddit yeah. and be like, yo, <laughs> I'm looking for a CB dog. I want somebody who's fucking done Active? some shit. Oh, yeah, okay. like who's done some shit. Because apparently that's really all they do. Like, you hear about them, like, yeah, you know of them, but behind the scenes, like, they do some wild and crazy shit. Huh. Like Brian, that. do you have any CB friends or no? A gesture instructor? No. Hmm. Man. We can find someone. I'll nice. go. I'll go on Reddit and see if there's any CBs out there. That's fun. That's funny as shit. <laughs> if I can get them fucked up and start you know, making you shit, you know how psychologically damaging that is. <laughs> you uh, you destroy some shit so no one can steal it, and they repair your shit just to steal your shit. <laughs> Those are some bad motherfuckers, though. <laughs> For real. I wonder how they repaired it so fast. And behind enemy lines too. Like that's <laughs> wild. Like. You know, you got to imagine back in the 50s, what was the Korean War, whatever it was? Yeah. Like, they were probably everywhere. Yeah. And <laughs> they were just like, fuck it. We'll, we'll get this shit patched up. No problem. Because, I mean, those rail fucking things are heavy. Hell yeah, they're heavy, dude. They're, they're heavy as fuck. Yeah. Fucking railroad ties. Oh, hell yeah. 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 Oh, fuck yeah. I have like a, like a small piece in mm-hmm. my house, like a small one, just like about that big. Freaking heavy as shit. Probably like 20, 30 pounds, you know, if not more. It's more. Yeah, because I know those ones over there uh, at Coppers. Oh, yeah. Dude, those things. Heavy as fuck. That way at least three, four bills. Jesus yeah. Christ. Because uh, BJ, uh, Tuck's sister, uh, her, uh, her husband, he, that's what, for like the first five years, that's what you do. You just lift up those things, like the the manual ones, like the by hand. Mm-hmm. That's what you do for like five years before you get your foot in the door, really. Oh, damn. And he did that for like five years. And he was like, oh, dude, those things can, because they're sprayed with something. So yeah. like wet wood, basically, that's what you're you're picking up constantly. Mm. And the, the bitches are not like, Mm-mm. but I guess when you're a fucking drunk CB, you can <laughs> make it happen. It fracks. No, I was talking about the steel thing. The, oh, you're talking about the metal eye beams. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That, that the shit rails. is fucking yeah. heavy. They're talking about the railroad ties, like the no, wood no. ones. No, I was talking about the 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 steel ones because again i have one at the house i don't know where my dad got it it's like a little small one shit is like i want to say like 70 pounds yeah them things are them things are heavy mm-hmm. yeah, they usually use uh cranes and <laughs> just to pick those up and put them in place yeah yeah no nah, fuck those fuck that noise i don't know how they fucking did it <laughs> again it's a fucking cb dog cb's dog they probably got super ripped up and you got retarded strengths when you're drunk so damn <laughs> facts <laughs> facts <laughs> 
Can a CB be my spirit animal? I'm down. <laughs> you could, I'll vote for his no. little spirit animal to be a CB. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, because he'll turn out like how we used to be. Oh, yeah. And we don't need that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Don't, we don't need another You don't need to ruin your life like that. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah, them CBs are some bad motherfuckers, though. Shout out to them for real. For real. Hmm. We should look up some more uh, CB stories. I will. Uh, I'll, I'll try. To, I'll try to bring some more because uh, that, it, it that's sounds in, pretty interesting. It's interesting as yeah. fuck. Like it's like every. It seems like everything that you do in the military, like unless you just have like I don't know, like office cool. job. I get, well, even then, like you can't, you, unless you enlist as an officer, you really don't jump into an office job, do you? Or can you? No, you can because there's, you know, uh, logistics and, mm, yeah, true. and admin, stuff like that. So there are a lot of paper pusher jobs. Mm. Is there anything that you wanted to do in the Navy but couldn't? Like anything crazy? Like, don't get me wrong. I mean, or don't. No offense, you just don't seem like the kind of guy who'd jump at the, at, you know, at the thought of becoming a SEAL. Uh, no, definitely not. Just special. because, just because that fucking they do some insane shit. Yeah, right? definitely not spec ops. I heard, uh, what is it, mine men? I think I heard that that's kind of pretty cool because you know they fucking play around with explosives <laughs> holy so, shit master at arms cause they're fucking they're basically security mm-hmm. but you know they get to play with guns isn't shit. there like a, a thing in the army where their pretty, their job is pretty, I can't there's a name for it I don't remember it but basically what they do is they kind of just go out in the fields and they like use all this equipment to detect mines and they pretty much just set them off like, like if there's ever like, like especially like in Vietnam, yeah, that would have been really helpful because they would just set mines everywhere, and you could, you know, get blown set up and shit, yeah. yeah. But now they have like all this software, you know, that can kind of scan, not super far, but far enough, you know, like in a, within like a three sixty degree radius to where they can like, okay, there's a bunch of mines over here, mm-hmm. and they just like either use the software to like detonate them, or they obviously physically detonate them. Off. So, yeah. oh shit, but that would be fucking crazy. Just to have that guy who's like, he used to be a basketball player, but just <laughs> Kobe. 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 Every time, <laughs> just setting some shit off. <laughs> That'd be some wild shit. That'd be wild. That'd be cool, though. Isn't it? And I know there's a, uh, what are they called? Damn. I, fuck. I can't remember the name of any of these things, but there's like, whenever you join, it's like a special, it's like a spec ops thing in the army. Or like, you know, like whenever they do the, the grappling down on a rope, whatever and shit. Yeah. Like they make you do it face first. Oh, what so the way, fuck? And you have to sing like the, the song of uh, whatever that thing is, whatever it's called. Stapler. I don't know what the fuck they're called. It starts with an S. But yeah, you have to do that and like pretty much like walk a tight rope like two stories high with just, uh, just foam blocks down there. You don't get the balancing stick. You don't get any uh, harness or anything. You just have to like walk across it. And like the longer you take, like the, I think it was like you you you're punished for it for some reason. Oh damn! Yeah, like it's it sucks. Like you you have to make it through. Yeah. Oh, there's no like oh you couldn't make there. Ah, no problem. No, you you have to make it through. Oh damn! Yeah, like and and on top of that, like if somebody sets the bar really high, everyone has to either Be match at that, that bar or go below it or like slightly below it. So like if you did it in a minute flat. And I do it in 103. Well, I'm going back. I'm going back and doing it again so I can get a minute. Damn. Yeah. It's crazy. They do crazy shit like that. Oh, shit. Wait, what What if I went uh, before you and I set a bar? Well, you set the bar, then you're okay. good. So the first person, if it's like the fourth person or whatever, and there's only five of us, then the fifth person has to keep going. Because so I mean, like, what if like I set the bar at 103 and then you set the bar at like at one minute? Yeah, then everybody behind me would have to do it. Okay. Yeah. That would suck. So it's just like a bar setting thing, you know. Mm. But they but they also do like all kind of crazy shit too. So like you gotta like disarm like an explosive 
in the fat system. Obviously, it's just paint, whatever. Okay. You know, but yeah, like they want you to be able to disarm That'd it. That'd be wild if it was <laughs> real. Explosives. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, we couldn't get the, we couldn't get our paint one, so we got the real one. So good luck. Yeah. You ever seen that movie Jarhead? Yeah. No. No. Well, there's a part in there where like they're in basic training, and uh, this was what war was it? Gulf War, whatever it was, and they're crawling under the barbed wire. But they're shooting like live rounds over them. Oh and yeah! Somebody freaks out and stands, and stands up, up and gets fucking shot in the mm-hmm. head. Dude, that movie was wild. Yeah, the the freaking crazy guy who ends up like killing himself in the in the restroom. That's Full Metal Jacket. Oh yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, that's Full Metal <laughs> yeah. Jacket. That's Gomer Pyle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, Jarhead was with Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay, now yeah. I remember. Yeah, 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 man, I haven't seen that movie in forever. He was the Marines, right? Yeah. And one of it, one of the dude's girlfriend like cheated on him. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Okay, happens all the time. Yeah, I remember now. He was also in a movie called Was It Brothers? Whatever. Was that it? With, like Tobey Maguire, and they they, they think he's dead because they can't find him. But then Tobey Maguire swoops in and, or no no, they think Tobey Maguire is dead. Jake Gyllenhaal swoops in and starts dating his his, uh, his old bag. Oh damn! And then he comes back and he's like, "What the fuck?" Dang. Yeah. Uh, get him, get him. And he loses his shit. I would too. I mean, they thought you were dead, but yeah. Either way, still no excuse. How long was he dead? I don't remember. Okay, it's been a while since that, I've seen that's him. that's the true question. If it was like he's dead and it's been like a month, it, it, it does it take you a month to get over it? You know what I'm saying? How long, it depends on how long you're with him, right? But I mean, like. You said they're married, no, right? I mean, yeah, that's still too short. A time. Yeah, yeah. So it got to be at least a year. Yeah, before you kind of like I don't know, because some of those some of those ladies that try to latch on, like you'll be dating them for like two months and they're already expecting a ring. So you know, because they're just trying to get that health care. So mm. what was it? I I read one story a long time ago. Like whenever I was trying to join the army, it was like. Some guy and his high school crush, they got married so she could go with him everywhere or something like that. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then once, like, because she was like, oh, because he has this skill set, whatever, he's going to be stationed in Hawaii or some somewhere somewhere nice, you know, like it wasn't like fucking Russia, like somewhere badass. And once he get, once uh, they got there, like pretty much almost immediately, she filed for a divorce because she was like, oh, yeah, I, I, I live here now. And, uh, you know, uh, we signed a, was it? Not, they didn't, oh, they didn't sign a prenup. So she like took him for the house and everything. Meanwhile, he's like less than a year in the army. Right. Now, now he's broke, go, going through a divorce and shit. What the fuck, yeah. and, dude? And like her lawyer got it worked out to where like he has to pay not alimony, but I guess kind of like, or palimony or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. Kind of like to, what you know, so she could live that lifestyle. But also he has to pay for her health insurance, any medical bills and all this other shit. Yeah. That's fucked up. She got up. his ass. Damn. He was technically still like a private, right? If he was only in for like a year. Yeah. So yeah, he, wouldn't even, he wouldn't even making good money. God damn. Or not like, not, you know, great, great money. Like the way like but a D6 money. or some shit like that. No, would. no. At a, at like a private level, you're making maybe. 30 grand. Tw- you're making like 1200 a month. Really? Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Damn. That ain't shit. What the fuck? She fucked up. <laughs> she for real? Yeah. He was like eight years in or something. Yeah. I mean, I think if you're in Hawaii, you get cola. But... What's that? Uh, cost of living allotment, allowance, something like that. Oh, okay. It's basically like a cost of living adjustment. Um, But I think it's only like a couple hundred bucks. Oh, so it's not much more? No. Brian, what would you do in that situation? I wouldn't be in that situation. <laughs> What if you were? Well, if I were, shit. Going to jail? <laughs> Probably. Right, I'm about to get court martial for hanging that bitch. <laughs> I'm pulling Ezra Miller. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> pulling the Ezra Miller, buddy. Fucking Trevor Bowers are at it. <laughs> for real. <laughs> but do you know anybody who went through some crazy shit like that? Personally? Like on some Jody shit? What is it called? Like, what, what do they say? Like, uh, Dear John letters. Yeah, Dear John. I know Dear John letters, but what's it called whenever, like, uh, pretty much the guy, like, okays it while he's away? 
for oh, her to be with someone else. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not swingers, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember what Because he's like, called. I'm going to be gone for, in Germany for eight months. You know, you won't, you, so. I you, give if, you the yeah, permission like to if you and pleasure yourself Bob or whatever. whatever want to hook up right. while I'm away. Yeah. But as soon as I come back, that shit's done. That's so weird. I can never do that. See, I, I I heard of a couple who did that. Basically, um, it was a guy in the Navy and a girl in the Navy. And they both had spouses. And they were both on the same ship. So, you know, while... So, you know, while they were deployed together, they were going at it. And then the couple they had at home. They were free to do whatever. Yeah. It's almost like an open relationship kind of. Yeah, pretty much. Kind of open relationship. But just sex. But it was just like open to just that one other person. Right. Hmm. So. And I feel like I would rather them, if if I were in an open relationship, I would rather them not be with the same person because that's how Phillips feelings start to develop. Right. I'd rather be like, you know, just fuck randoms, you know? Yeah. So, Never the same person. See, I have mixed feelings about that. Either way. Cause I mean, I, you know what? I'd rather them develop feelings than develop something else. And, uh, you know, I come back home and they don't tell me. <laughs> and now Surprise, my shit's all eight. green. <laughs> We're just telling them, Hey, part of the, you know, stipulation you gotta you gotta strap up. Oh, you you gotta do your bad luck thing. Bad luck show that we we're talking about. Uh, nobody, know, nobody knows about them. Hurry oh, up, bro. Me. God damn it! <laughs> we'll do that next episode. Ah, uh, yeah. No, nobody knows about you. Yeah. We'll do it next week. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, no, I would I would seriously like you strap up. Fuck whoever you want. I don't care if that was the case. If I was in that situation, because developing feelings, I feel like that's way worse. Yeah, because I mean, like, now they're wanting to decide either to leave you yeah. or, you know. Now it's like an ultimatum type situation. Right. right. It's either me or him. Or, you know, me or her or her or her or whatever, you know. Or who, who do you love best and all that. And yeah. Is it willing to fight for them and all that? So it's kind of, I don't know. It's well, weird. I saw, I saw something interesting. It was like uh, uh, a, a woman wanted like a $3,000 Louis Vuitton bag or Gucci bag or some shit, right? So she asked her husband if he could buy it for her. And she was like, he was like, no, it's a waste of money. She was like, okay, babe. So then the next day he comes home, he he sees her pulling it out of uh, that purse that she wanted out of her closet. And he was like, what the fuck? Like, I thought we agreed you weren't. She's like, oh, no, my work husband bought it for me. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. How do you feel about that shit? I don't know. That's to weird. me, that's what I'm saying. That's worse. Like I'd rather yeah, she's you, uh she's developed feelings at that point. Yeah, she's but developing I, feelings. She's also going to be developing a shiner. <laughs> <In fact. laughs> I, but I hear stories about that. Oh now. yeah, like they they have their husbands, and then they have a work husband or like work boyfriend. Oh dude, I've seen it, and it's weird. Dude. I've seen it firsthand, and it got ugly, like bad, bad. My old boss Jeff. Okay, and him and some chick in the fucking office. They were, you know, they would joke around, ha, huh, blah, 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 because she used to be kind of bigger. Yeah. And, and she was like, I guess she she made the move on him first. He was like, Ashley, the only way I'd be able to get with you is if you lost like 100 pounds. Over that year, she lost like 118 pounds. Oh, damn. Just to get with him. Slimmed down. She was like a, you know, cute looking chick, whatever. But yeah. And they started messing around and all this shit and started dating. And then her husband was an alcoholic. So she said she was going to leave him. Got with the old boy. And next thing you know, shit got really weird at the office, at at work. It got really fucking weird. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. To the point where he was, like, sending her husband, because they were, like, quote-unquote friends before, sending pictures of, naked pictures of her to him. It was, like, in his bed and shit. I was like, wow. What a dick move. Yeah, oh, he was an asshole. What the fuck? This is the same guy who got mad at me for tea tea bagging him in Halo. So you can imagine... (laughs) How he is outside of the fucking game, you know? Hell yeah. Oh, man. But that's wild, dude. I, I don't know, because I've met, like, one couple or people or whatever that did that. So they have a husband or whatever at the house. And then they have a work boyfriend. But they don't do anything physical, you know? They just, you know. Yet. Yet. But they're able to, like, flirt and blah, blah, blah. And he's able to buy flowers and Everything and all that. And I'm just like, what the fuck is this, dude? I'm like. 
So I'm so glad I've only ever worked with guys. Yeah. It's, it's like, it, you, you you know, if you become friends with your homeboy, you got, you, you just gained a new homeboy. Yeah. Like, that's it. Like, I've, they, even whenever I was working at that warehouse with those chicks, like, I was like, I'm good. I'm, because to me, they, they were like very gossipy. Hmm. Like a lot, any a lot of time you get those office chicks, they're real fucking chatty Cheese cathies monster, yeah. and shit. Yeah, and I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't like that kind of shit. Yeah, because you, then you get into too much drama, and then it's it's a whole rabbit hole. Yeah, a rabbit hole you don't want to fall down. Facts. But yeah, that whole work husband, work wife shit, dude. That shit, I don't know. Did you ever <sighs> like anybody who was like with somebody? I think we all have. Okay. Yeah. Especially when I was younger. Hell yeah, but fucking Shanti never hit me back. So. <laughs> <laughs> Who's yours? Do you remember? Yo, actually, you know what? We're actually we're, when we talk about normal people, we probably shouldn't say yeah, that. Yeah, uh, they might probably. be listening. Yeah, let's just say we've all been there yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we we just answer yes. Just like as a like as a guy, I mean, you know. It's it's na- it's a natural thing. Like there are fucking beautiful women out there. Of course, you're gonna Develop like feelings. you're gonna yeah. I think it's worse. Is there anything worse than like when you like develop feelings for someone, but then they're like, "Oh, I love you," like a brother. <laughs> they oh, fucking man. friends on you, dog. Honestly, <laughs> it's so hard because a, a part of me just wants to just cut it off. Just yeah, <laughs> that's it. I just try to like yeah, because, but if you do cut it off, then you're that asshole who she probably thinks you're the only, you're that asshole who only stuck around to smash. Right? No, I, I, no, I no, because like it's just like I just wanted to be you know more of a relationship, and that's it. But then like you got to like do the whole brother thing, and it's just like, well, now you just led me on. I don't want the whole lead me on thing the whole time. Yeah. So I'm just like I cut it off from there. And that's for me. And that's the thing is like women are horrible at knowing when or not knowing when they're leading someone on. Mm. Cuz they you know they think like I don't know if they think that all guys just want to smash so they so whenever they find that one guy who they become friendly with who's a good guy and they're like, "Oh yeah, he's like a friend, you know." So but that guy's thinking that, "Oh shit, like do is there something between us?" Right. The whole time that's what the guy's thinking, but you, you got to let us know from the get-go like, yeah. "Hey, like I would I would much prefer you be brutally honest with me in that situation." Right. Like, "Hey, like, you know, honesty like, is the best policy. That's it." Like even if she was like, "Hey, you know, I I really like you, but I don't see us in that way." I'd be like, "All right, cool. At least I know where we stand." Right. Because yeah. that whole like leading on shit and like, you know, us playing around and all that. Uh, I, y'all, y'all never well you met DJ right the dude I used to hang out with probably okay well uh, his friend or our friend Dominique that happened to him where like the girl was like yeah you can spend the night and all this shit like they never smashed or anything but like she was like I like to cuddle and all this shit and you know they would he would like buy her food walk right. her to class couple shit out of nowhere didn't tell his fool nothing her fucking boyfriend shows up yeah that's the definition of leading someone on. Facts. And then she, she was like, oh, well, I didn't know that, you know, you thought there was something between us. What What else could he think? For <laughs> real. Mean, you know, like, you were, like, sending him cute fucking texts and, like, letting him buy you food and... Cuddling. Cuddling. Like, he met her family. All, dude, she went to the extent of letting this fool meet her family. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah I would have been pissed. Oh, he was. And then that's what I'm saying. It's like, she was like, oh, I thought you were, I thought you were my friend. I, I didn't know you just wanted to smash. She was like, that's not what I wanted, like, at all. I mean, well, obviously he did, but, you know, like, he didn't just see her as th- that way. Right. Like, he really wanted to be with her. Something w- with her, you know? And yeah. She fucked him over like that. Damn. Because, I mean, like, uh, I don't feel like most of us want just to smash only. It's just, like, the relationship. We like how this person is, like, is. Well, especially when you're older. Like, when you're younger, I can see that. Go ahead, man. I was going to say, I think I got something that will save a lot of time. Only use emojis on someone you're interested with. <laughs> That's it. If if you're, if it's nothing more than friendship, don't bother with them. You got to go, you gotta go into a little more detail. I was just saying, you know, like, you know, like, say... You know, you, you texting a girl or whatever, and you know she'll be like, "Oh yeah, ha ha ha," 
you know, smiley face emoji, whatever the fuck, you know, whatever those fucking emojis are. Yeah. You know, like, oh, huh, cool, she's digging it. You know, maybe someone goes somewhere, but then, yeah, obviously it doesn't. So. You really want to find out someone likes you, just be as bland as you possibly can. And if they continue the conversation, if they try to keep the conversation going, yeah, you got something there. Hmm. I think that's kind of what you're saying. But what if they're an introvert? Then, then just fucking they'll ghost find that a bitch. way. <laughs> ghost that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they they they'll find a way to try to continue on that conversation, even though it might take forever. They might be like maybe a day later. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, hey, nothing much. Oh, okay. What about a? Uh, yeah, like what about a slow texter? That doesn't bother me. I'm a slow texter, so bitch, you don't even know how to text. <laughs> Right, spell text. <laughs> <laughs> he like, says it on the thing. <laughs> Hell yeah, his voice to text. Oh, uh, fucking. Does a slow texter bother you? No. Yeah, hmm. I hate that shit. Sometimes I get distracted. Oh no no no! It, when Sometimes you're, I fall asleep. I mean, when I can't. Yeah, when, when, if, if, <laughs> when we're in the group chat and it's eleven forty-five and you don't respond back, I'm like, yeah, Brian's asleep, of course. Or like if it's eleven forty-five in the morning or or like you know one in the, one in the afternoon. I'm sorry. Like, and Israel's not texting. He cle- he's clearly at work. Like, you know, everyone. But when it's like, we're all off, it's like 7 o'clock. Like, that's when everyone's usually home or yeah. off or whatever. And none of you motherfuckers are responding back. I was looking at my phone like, fuck y'all. Host. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I'm playing Elden Ring. I get distracted. I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. And then I'm just like. <laughs> my favorite thing to do. Or no, wait, my my favorite thing to do. But what I hate when everyone else does. Is when you read a text and you respond in your head. And you put the phone down. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, what I do it. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> like, I accidentally do that shit all the time. Like, like oh, dude. The, the, one, the one person I do it with the most is my dad. And it's never intentional. They'd be like, hey, such and such and such. And I'm like. Oh, okay. And like in my head, I'll answer. Then I'll put the phone down. And then like two days later, he's like, hey, just making sure you're okay. I'm like, the fuck? Oh, shit. Like, <laughs> I, I totally should have responded to that. I thought I did. Right. So just a, you know, little, uh, w- when I say, oh, shit, I just saw this. I literally mean I just saw this. Like, or I, I, I don't know why I didn't respond or whatever. Right. I'm being honest. Like, I probably saw it and was like, oh, yeah, that's blah, blah, blah. Put the phone down. Because when I usually see it, like, I'm like, oh, okay, I have to respond. And then something gets my eye, and I'm like, oh, okay. And then after that, like, I don't have the notification that someone texted me. Oh, yeah, So I'm just like, I forgot. It goes away, yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, shit. Definitely been there before. Definitely definitely do that all the time. Yeah. I still don't know why I don't like talking on the phone. I prefer that. It's so much faster and so much easier. Yeah, I prefer that because I'm just like, okay, I can get it all out. All right, boom. Nope. You like texting? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah text- no, I'm, I'm with you. I'm on the same page. But I mean, just for me, I know that we can get the conversation done in a minute. Mm-hmm. But like, instead, I'm, I'm like, oh, yeah, you're deaf. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Most of the time I'm on the phone, it's like, what? Can, can, can you say that again? Can, can you speak in Braille? I can't. Uh, d- yeah, sure. Uh, wait, what was that? Yeah. Brian's right at the AT and T store where he has perfect service and can't hear. So uh, you're breaking up. <laughs> like, dude, can you feel me now? <laughs> like, there, no, no, there's no. this loud ringing. <laughs> Are you next to heavy machinery right now? <laughs> My ears ringing for some reason. Indeed, you hear that? <laughs> like, no, I'm actually in a float tank. It's completely silent here. <laughs> oh, <Poor>. that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Poor bees. <laughs> has it gotten any better, or is it still shit? Or nothing really changed. Uh, mm. I know I'm about to be having some ringing in my ear. Why? Because that fucking hammer drill. Oh, yeah, okay. that shit's loud as fuck. Just, Why don't you get uh, some... Uh... I usually do, but we have the disposable ones mm. that we ran mm. out. So I was like, fuck. Why don't you buy uh, the ones that go over your ears? I got the reusable ones. I don't like those. Those are my ears. Mm. I, got, I like the little foam ones that you can kind of ball up. Put in your ear and see, as soon as you're done. I don't like those because I, I don't know. It's weird. My one ear's, I don't know. I feel like one ear's like wider than the other. Mm. So it like 
doesn't stay in as good. I feel like the same way with my ear too. As well, do for me, I know I know for a fact my right ear's big, my right ear hole is bigger than my left. I just roll them up, roll them up really small, put them in there until they expand. So the way the inside of the ear grabs it, that's right. usually what I do. And then I really can't hear shit. And that's usually what I use whenever I'm using that thing. But it was we didn't have any. It was like someone's got to get up there. Right. I was like, well, I'm the only one who can fucking slide up there. So I usually get the ones that go over your head like this. Those those will get in the way. That, that's why I like to have the uh, the, the in ear ones. Right. Because if especially a lot of the shit we do when we wear those, we're leaning over backwards doing some shit, and they'll, they'll slide off. Hmm. So that's why I like the ones that go in my ear. Yeah, the the reusable ones I got, they're pretty good. They're they're all uh, fancy. They got the, you know, kind of like the earbud things where they kind of clip in there a little bit. And they're rated, I want to say, pretty close to the foamies. Was it, uh, I think so. Guitar Center has some, some ones like that. But you can actually, like, change out some of them. Where it's, it takes out more decibels. Mm-hmm. I just can't remember what it's called. I used to have some, but I don't remember where they put well, them. Well, the main reason we we use those is because we're gonna lose them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like they're we do, like I, I've had, I've tried that before where the one that comes in a little case, whatever. Yeah, put it in my side pocket. The moment you pick that backpack up and start throwing it around, moving it around, and all this other shit, shit disappears. Mm-hmm. And like I, I lost like forty dollar reusable ones. Yeah, so I was like, well, I'd rather just spend. Ten dollars for a pack of a hundred, and I can as soon as boom, I'm done, boom, toss boom. them out. That's that makes reason. sense. And Jamar is the same way. That's why we use those those shitty ones. Yeah, that makes sense. I was like, fuck it. It just it just makes more sense financially instead of being like, yeah, let me get these fifty dollars ones that are custom for my ear. You know, which would be dope if I could right. keep them, <laughs> but I'm not. They're gonna fucking Wait, fall they're out. We're so gonna lose them. Yeah, real quick them, for sure. You know how I many, dude? I can't tell you like monthly. How many fucking Phillips bits I buy? Jesus Christ! We fucking fly through those things like they're nothing. God damn! Go to fucking change it out while you're on a ladder with one foot on a wall, and so like, that bitch falls. Like, Fuck it, let me get another one. <laughs> it just digs in the backpack. I think I've probably bought like a thousand of those things, like you know, in total. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Just fly through the most. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of, it's for you when you're, when you're in an uncomfortable position you oh, yeah. just give me another one hurry up yeah, fuck, hurry, fuck, hurry fuck up. looking for that one we know where they're at <laughs> <laughs> fuck that uh, fuck that one give me the other one yeah, exactly that's so I, we just fly through that shit <laughs> oh shit well, I had something I wanted to talk about what was it I don't remember or who was it or how was it it was it was mm. mm-hmm mm-hmm that's a good question. Y'all can take time to think about this one. All right. And there has to be an answer. Not a, nah, nobody, nah. Okay. Who would make you spend 10 to $20 a month if they join OnlyFans? I mean, it doesn't have to be porn. So that's that's the caveat. Right. But know, I mean, it's like, OnlyFans, so it doesn't have to be porn. It could be literally anybody. Hmm. So it could just be like them doing like, like say, um, you know, one of, one of the the Marvel actors, they could join up and they'll do like, uh, they'll post them doing uh, like skits and stuff like that. You know, right. like say Dave Chappelle, he did OnlyFans and he started doing, um, he basically redid a Chappelle show, but instead of doing like the whole show, he just posts, you know, his skits every right. once in a while. Hmm. Makes sense. All right. But I'm pretty sure he's asking for, like, some nudies. We'll, we'll ask him when he comes in. Okay. So if it's if it's not nudes, then him. Are you talking about nudies, or are you talking about, like, anything that they want to do? Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. See, because I was thinking anything, you know, because it's... Because technically, OnlyFans <laughs> is for fans, you know, but, so... But OnlyFans is predominantly... Porn. For, porn, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was I thinking... Said, if I would have said Patreon, then... then by all means, yeah. Because I was, I was thinking all like Dave. I was, I was like Dave Chappelle, and he would start posting like his ass. Like, well, no clips of like Chappelle show skits, like new That'd skits cool. he would come out with. That'd have been cool, but <laughs> the way you said that, he's like oh, Chappelle, oh, no. <laughs> Chappelle dog. I gotta see that dick. <laughs> he got that dong. Give me the veins. <laughs> Give me the veins. <sighs> It's a tough one, I know. Yeah. Because I can't justify spending money on anyone. 
Not, yeah, because I mean, at least when it comes to something like that. Because I mean, I'm pretty sure one of them or almost nearly most of them already done like a nude scene or has leaked nudes. Yeah. So it's kind of just like, uh, why would I spend the money? I like, here's what I'm going to do. I like, I like Brian's answer and Dave Chappelle, but I'm just going to cut out everything you said to justify it after. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it just sounds like he wants to see Dave's, 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 Dave's meaty cock. <laughs> Some bitch. <laughs> Give me the veins. Give me the veins. <laughs> I mean, do you have somebody in mind? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I was, I was curious. Hmm. Like, I was hoping giving y'all some some thinking time would come up with an answer. But like for me, I'm like, I got fucking ten bucks a month. I mean, I don't mind doing it ten bucks a year. It's motherfucking Netflix. But you are you subscribing to Eaton's? What <laughs> ten dollars a year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. No, I think for me, if someone would like. I would subscribe to an OnlyFans if it was nine times out of ten a guy and it was someone I knew just because. Like, you remember that scene? Uh, you seen a, a Zach and Miriam make a porno, right? Yeah, I've seen it. When she, she was like, who's going to want to watch us fuck? He's like, who wouldn't want to watch us fuck? He's like, if Rosie O'Donnell made a fucking porno, I'd watch it. Because <laughs> it's someone you know and you wouldn't expect. That's what I would watch. Like if some fat fuck we went to school with made an OnlyFans... Oh, I'm down for that shit. Really? Just, just because I to me it would be funny. Okay, like that would be hilarious. Hmm. I'd be like, yeah, all right, fuck it. You got, you got my ten bucks. I mean, I'm not subscribing next month. You know, what I'm saying? it's not gonna, <laughs> but at like, least for this month. Yeah, it's not gonna like be a reoccurring payment <laughs> for right. my shit. But I would check it out just because it would be funny. <laughs> or like a teacher, a teacher we went to school with. Damn. Like, bitch, you're, you're down on your luck that bad. I got 10 for you. I got 10 for you. <laughs> Let's see what you got. <laughs> Better in her prime from back in the day. Hell no. She's hurting. <laughs> <laughs> She's hurting. <laughs> Financially and literally. Goddamn. The knees went out of business a long time ago. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Only fans is such a weird concept. It is. Sometimes when I read the like things, I'm just like, is it even worth it? What do they say? Like some of them, they're all like, oh yeah, you get like, uh, obviously you get the photos and then one of them you get it like a greeting card and then sometimes you get like a letter and you're just like, the fuck? That's it? Because I was interested of like what, what they asked for. Because I mean like, all right, they give you the price of what they asked for a month. And I was like, okay. And then you see what they like also for the additions. And I'm just like, okay, that's not even <laughs> worth it. I know it sounds look. creepy, but I'm just saying. Like, I'm Why? just no. You're fucking single. Do yeah. what you do. Both of y'all are fucking get on OnlyFans. Who gives a shit? Uh, the, there was this one white girl on Twitter. I'm talking about like no ass, no <laughs> boobs. She yeah. was pretty as hell, but like, like body wise, like flat. Just she looked like a 12 year old boy basically. Oh damn! And she was like 20 or like 30 bucks a month. I'm like 30 bucks a month for what? Yeah. What am I gonna get? Yeah. If I really wanted to see some shit like that, I'd sneak into a junior high shower. What the fuck? Ooh. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I said if I wanted to. I didn't say when I wanted to. I said if I wanted to. See, can you edit that out? <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's staying in and I'm going to boost the, the levels. <laughs> fuck, it was me anyway, so yeah. who cares? But yeah, no, that shit's weird. It Only- is, because I mean, like, again, I, I don't see the the worth of it. They do. They're getting paid. Facts. That one chick on uh on your on your boy's uh excuse me, on your boy's podcast, uh Fighter and Kid. Oh yeah. Yeah, she she, she, she has a big old she dipped out because she's making over a hundred hundred K a month. On OnlyFans. On OnlyFans. And it's not even all that bad, right? I have no idea. I thought it was just only feet stuff. I, it was. And then uh uh her because I follow her on IG. One day she yeah. posted, she was like, fuck it, the tits are coming out. Uh, I think it was like 20 bucks a month to see it. I was like, oh, she's about to get paid, paid. Damn. Yeah. I didn't even know she dipped out. I haven't listened to them in a while. Yeah. Especially after what happened. I still want to watch the one with uh, him, them and... It was uh, awkward. Was it? Save okay. your time. Don't watch it. It was awkward. Damn. It was uncomfortable. But yeah. So, OnlyFans, shout out to them. Oh, I mean, if you need to get your dough, get your dough. Get your bread, son. Get your bread, son. Who in here? Who in here is circumcised? Nobody. Circumcised or uncircumcised? 
Circumcised. Are you circumcised? I'm un- uncircumcised. All right, so we all got hoods in here? Yeah. You heard about this anti-circumcision protesters? Yeah. Dude, yeah, I've heard about so it. it's so weird. What the fuck? They, Why? They were like all white. Yeah. And they have like blood stains over their crotch. It's like anti-circumcision. But why? But like they're circumcised because I guess it's like because uh, it's not necessary to do it anymore, really. Because the reason they would do it back then was for hygienic reasons. Yeah. And now, like, I, I who? Okay, it's mostly a religious thing nowadays. Yeah, it was a religious thing, but now it's kind of just like they ask you, like, "Hey, you want to do it or not?" And most people are like, "Yeah, I guess." But my okay, and shout out to that. That's cool. You know, whatever. Your, yeah. your, your religion, whatever. Cool. But like back in the day, it was unhygienic. Can you imagine just not washing your dick? Ugh. Who would us? I mean, that's just like you know, like you're walking around with a block of fucking dick Jeez. cheese on your head. Ugh. Ugh. Who, <laughs> who was like, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> fucking cut the head off, cut the skin off. Like, bro, you could just pull that shit back and run just soap and water over that bitch. You're and good. That's it. That literally takes. I do it every day in the shower, and it takes me, if I'm slow, retarded, and dumb, a minute. Right. <laughs> and even then, like it's, thirty seconds. Yeah. It's not that hard. Clean your dick. Like how 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 hard is to do that? I didn't even know you had a hood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't seem you also don't seem like the kind of guy who would have a hood. I don't like the way, way that's being phrased. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you caught that shit. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time I thought you were on yeah. circumcised because the way that they talk about your dick I just I was yeah. like oh okay yeah, you leave my white hood out of this yeah <laughs> <laughs> Brian's a proud owner of that white hood <laughs> <laughs> Brian that's the name of the episode Brian's white hood <laughs> God damn it <laughs> You oh, gotta listen shit. to he's find a, out. He's a car. He's a card holder. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Brian's white hood. Son. The only time that Brian's proud of a hood. Hell yeah! And it's white. <laughs> yeah, and it's in his closet. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's in his pants. That's funny. Sorry, be easy. <laughs> I wonder what it's like to be a doctor to have to do that shit. Oh, cut uh, kids. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's got to be some weird shit. Like, what if you just botched the shit? Like a scary movie three. Oh shit! Like, they like, cut your penis in half and reattaches it. Is that why I pee up? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking love those movies. That would suck if you just fuck. Like, how do you tell a parent that? Like, oh, I cut the fucking head of this hoe off. Sorry. Dude, have you seen, like, I don't know if it's true or not, but back in the day, they would be like smoking and drinking while they're like doing all that back For real? in the day. I, it seems like what that's what happened. That doesn't seem too far fetched, honestly. Like, they would didn't yeah. give a fuck back then. They were just like, like, you used to be able to smoke on planes. Yeah. You know how dangerous. <laughs> you know how dangerous that is. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Pilot taking a shot. All right, let's do this. Especially, especially <laughs> back then when like they were still like just getting the grasp of like Flying. how planes really, really work. Jesus Christ. Imagine your doctor. Dude, dude like when, when did the, when was the decline of like plane like mishaps? Not necessarily crashes, but like you know, back in the seventies and eighties, like you ask anybody who was around back then, they'd be like, "Oh yeah, flights used to get delayed for like two days because oh, there was something wrong with the plane or some shit right. like that." They're like, and it would be fucked up because they were just kind of like throwing shit together. Now it's like the engineering behind a plane is virtually impossible. Like you'd have to like hit the hole with a missile to right. take it down. Or, yet or, that one air, then, or that uh ish. how that airline disappears out of nowhere. Oh, that Malaysia Air or yeah. whatever? That was weird. Did they ever find it? I don't know. I feel like that's where they got that concept for that one show. Oh, uh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. What are you gonna say, BZ? I was gonna say a hard landing can fuck up a plane pretty yeah, is that like the one of the worst things is like the takeoff and landing? That's where they still have like or most pilots like do the fucking Rosario. <laughs> Rosario. Yeah. Vaya con Dios. Yeah, because the takeoff, that's... It's probably not as bad as the landing, huh? Yeah, the landing's the hardest part. There was a that comic, Andrew Santino, he was saying how, like, uh, I guess it's LAX. I don't know which airport. Whatever, whatever airport it is, it's... You have to, the way the... the what's it called? The 
what are the guys called who control the flights and shit like that? Air traffic control. Air traffic. The, the way it's been designed since like the early 80s or late 70s mm-hmm. is you have to come in at an angle. Like you have basically like a giant uh, corner, like a, uh, what's it called? Like a loop. Yeah. In order to land there. And they're like nine times out of 10, the plane hits like the, that left wheel first and it's like rocking until it stops. Damn. It's like, fuck that noise. Uh-uh. No, that's, no, I'm good. Hell no. Nah. I'll land somewhere else. <laughs> I do not like that turbulent shit. Fuck it. Let's go all a la Bard. Oh, Lord. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, buddy. Wouldn't it be cool to like see an air marshal in action? No, actually, I wouldn't. I'm lying. <laughs> actually do their jobs? No, because that means, yeah, that means something bad's happening. Yeah, no. I mean, besides like terrorists, do they do anything else? Just well, chill on the airplane? Their, their job to just make sure that nothing like that happens. Hmm. You ever yeah. thought about doing that? Air marshal? Yeah. But oh, you don't like flying, huh? Brian, you'd be the worst air marshal ever. You'd be throwing you out in the bathroom the whole time. <laughs> or sleeping because you took too much, uh, <laughs> what's that shit called? Uh, Dramamine. Dramamine. Yeah, it's a... Uh, for me, it, you know, I'm used to flying, so really the only time I, I feel nauseous is during... Take off? Yeah, a little bit during takeoff and landing. And plus, you get to go everywhere, so I think you might like it. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool to like. Like I, I used to know a stewardess. And she was like, "It is, it is a uh, not all what it's talked up, but what people say it is." Hmm. Yeah, because honestly, they they probably don't get very much time to to really do anything. Because whenever they land, you know, they'll have so much time before their next flight you know and they're going to spend probably a lot of that just fucking sleeping and you know showering getting something to eat before they fucking get ready to leave right. again constant go 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 yeah but I, but I heard they get paid so yeah yeah they're on constant hazard pay so big big money right there mm-hmm. i mean try it you never know you might find some new places a new wife. Would you do wife it? on the side? <laughs> <laughs> Would you be a stewardess? I, I know I couldn't do it, so I, I mean, I'm out of this already. I don't think I have the balance for it. Because anytime I fucking, I know whenever I fucking, you know, walk the aisle, whenever I'm on the plane, I always feel a little Brian, unsteady. Just land, just land on some old lady and break her hip. Oh, yeah. goddamn. <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. old bitch. You pull the Nezra Miller. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. Oops. Oops. Sorry, it's turbulence. <laughs> We're still on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even taken off yet. It's the ground turbulence. <laughs> ground tur- oh, my bad. I got what's this shit called? Uh, uh, vertigo. Vertigo, vertigo yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oops, my bad. My vertigo makes me <laughs> pound on old bitches. <laughs> I think that's what Nezra Miller has. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Ezra, Ezra Miller and his vertigo. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that'd be wild. So he came up with some some excuse like that. It's like smacking bitches around. He's like, oh, I got bursitis. So you got to slap bitches around. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it reminds me of Peter when he's like slamming the doors open to the like the woman's restroom. He's like, da ah. Sorry, I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just using any excuse you can, right, to get off. That'd be dope. <laughs> what if he doesn't? He's like, I'm sorry, I'm a midget. I'm a midget. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm transracial. <laughs> this, this makes me act weird. Oh, man. Bitch, if you don't get your psych- psychotic ass out of here with that crazy shit. <laughs> he must be on something, dude. I hope he's on something. Me too. <laughs> I hope he is. What if he isn't? He's well, he just an asshole. <laughs> That's crazy. He just... He's so entitled. That's what it, you know what I mean? Like, he's just an entitled little dick. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to talk about this and then we can dip if y'all want. Yeah. Bro, uh, at work tomorrow, his, for whatever reason, his work phone, I don't know, he doesn't know how. He gets this t- these texts from like this, uh, uh, these Republican, like, I don't know, team members, or whatever. And they always, they're always so aggressive. So it was like, it's like, hey, friend. Donald Trump's uh, birthday is coming up. Will you be the first to sign 
or we have to label you a, a, a radical Democrat. <laughs> like, what what the fuck? Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and it's always some shit like that. It's like, hey, friend, Tucker Carlson here, such and such, or Biden's whatever is uh, leaving the White House. Will you be one of the first to sign her card of good riddance? <laughs> so it's like, uh, reply now, or you'll be labeled a radical dim. <laughs> or like, what the shit? <laughs> you'll be labeled as a radical, <laughs> radical dim. <laughs> Why don't you label me as a radical sinner? <laughs> you and, know? And, and every, now, every time we're at a. We go to a job. We're like, "Hey, brother," or like we're hanging the TV at a yeah. and I'm like, "Hey, friend, that thing doesn't look level. You need to either go up on the left side, or I'm gonna have to label you as a radical deal." <laughs> <laughs> it was me. We do it in the customer's house. They're like, "What? What do? You, what is a radical deal?" <laughs> oh, yeah, it's an inside joke. But we want to tell them so bad. Right. <laughs> like, oh no! Once you bring in politics, it's just. All down here from there. There's some people who could do it, but other people are just like no, most hardcore, of the, like especially teen. over there in that town. No, oh, they, yeah. they get fucking riled up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Radical DM. <laughs> Radical DM. <dim. laughs> I, I hope it was you that signed him up to this. No, I've, I've, he's had that phone forever, and he was like, okay. Dude, I've been getting these texts for a long time. But then he just started reading them. He, so he read when he was like in his regular voice, and then I read it back in like a country ass hick voice, and now that's our thing. We're just like, hey, friend, <laughs> like if you don't sign this card right now, we'll have to label you as a radical deal. <laughs> just, they're just always so fucking aggressive. You're like, Jesus Christ. You know what he should do is answer all of them that's saying, like, him. hell yeah, brother. <laughs> there was one, it was like, uh, which, like, let's just say Tucker Carlson was like, would you, will you sign his card or whatever? And I was like, I was like, what you need to say is, Hey friend, uh, uh, Jamar. I'm not gonna say his last name here. He's like, but uh, he's like, as much as I love Tucker Carlson, I refuse to sign a birthday card because that is the cowardly way of the, the radical Dems. And the only way I will say happy birthday is if I shake his hand and look him in the eye. And he was like, I'm not saying that shit. I was like, <laughs> dude, you should. I was like, yeah. I was like, I feel like the text would come in at like a more frequent level, right? But they would just be crazier. Like, hey friend, do you own an AR-15? There's a radical DM right down the street. Let's go attack him. He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's a wild Say shoot. Less. Say less. Hell yeah. Say less, friend. <laughs> friend. So it's like, hey, friend, exclamation point. You're like, Jesus Christ, who are they screaming at? For real? You know what he should answer back? Hell yeah, friend. Asamakalekum. Asamakalekum. God. <laughs> And they'll be like, oh, you're one of them. Oh, Fuck no, you. Yeah. You're a radical DM. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> they just block his ass. A radical DM. I need to get him to send me some of those screenshots <laughs> so I can send them to y'all. It, it is just like three three to five times a day. Holy so it's shit. like eight in the morning. 10 to so four, all day all, yeah all day long just like they they like they give themselves a lunch break and i was sitting there <laughs> and i was sitting there, i was like do these motherfuckers get paid to do this isn't that like volunteer shit i don't know but that's badass <laughs> right like i like i get all like a lot of a lot of beto beto whatever his name is like i get yeah. i get a lot of those texts and so like whenever they send me some shit i always reply as a republican like a hardcore old, old school republican and they just then they stop Instead of it could be like, hey, uh, if you want to stop, you know, pre- send stop. Oh, fuck that. I got to go a little harder than that. <laughs> <laughs> My Lord and Savior, Donald J. Trump, would not approve of this message. You know, some shit like that. And they're like, oh, God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm so sorry. You're like this. <laughs> sorry, your life is fucked. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Sign, Radical Dim. <laughs> <laughs> radical Dim. <laughs> 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 oh man, I gotta see these texts. I'll uh, I'll get him to send me some tomorrow. That way I can uh, I can send them to a group chat. <laughs> Yo, Hell bro, what yeah! The fuck? <laughs> and send it to the uh, the uh, red, white, and blue baby group chat. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Fucking Sarah will be like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> I wish you would let me reply. I want to do it so bad. <laughs> He should just take his phone and do it. I did. He fucking snatched it back and ran. Oh, like, word? Like, you oh, little hoe. <laughs> Pussy. I was like, I was about to fucking make you a, a celebrity in this fucking group chat right here, though. <laughs> <laughs> that one day we were sitting there. We had nothing to do. We were just bored. He was like, man, I got like 38 nu- uh, messages from this number. Who is this? All of them. Hey, friend. What's going on there, red, white, and blue Republican? Like, all these, like, crazy, like... Red, white, like, and blue, baby. <laughs> Like Jesus Christ, what the hell's going on? Oh man, I love that shit. 
This is fucking hilarious. Those texts are hilarious. I'm telling you, I'll, get, I'll get some tomorrow and get him to send me some. Just, I would hope he would just allow you to like reply just at least mm. one. I know what I can do. Listen. I might just get some screenshots and then fucking bring them on here and read some. Uh, you know what you could do? It's like, get the number. I've tried. It's like one of those like weird like 81881 oh, numbers. So whenever you, whenever I try to reply, I was like, hey, friend. It was like, this number is doesn't exist or some shit. Right. I was like, damn. So he has to reply. Yeah, he has to reply. Oh man. My my favorite my favorite one is like when they're whenever they're like, uh, you must reply by midnight, like or you will be removed from this text. And then like an hour later, hey friend. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> this fucking wild. This wild shit, bro. Like I said, I feel like they, I know those are volunteers. They can't be getting paid for the shit. Right. They're just at their house, like, ooh. Got an idea for a text. Maybe this number will reply. What do you What do you think their success rate on those things are? I don't know. I, I want to know who's all replying and being like, "Hey, friend, hey, I'm friend, down. send that fucking cook. Where do I sign this car for Tucker Carlson? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! I'm all about it. <laughs> Should I bring my way? <laughs> Hell yeah, my way. <laughs> my boy Brian said he's gonna let me borrow his. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Oh, you bitch, you ready to roll? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, we'll catch you next week. <laughs> and if now you you're a radical. Yeah, deal. And if you don't, we'll have to label you as a radical deal. <laughs> 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 that was episode two twenty nine. Peace. Peace. <laughs>